Okay, Sangeeta, I'm going to hand over to you to start um, your webinar. So take us to Nassau Paradise Island. Over to you. Thank you, Sarah. Good afternoon. Good morning, everyone. Thanks for joining this uh, fabulous webinar. Thanks, Sarah, for hosting it. Um, here on this webinar, we've got three fantastic, four fantastic hotels for you. I'm uh, Sangeeta Makwana. I am... Um, uh, with Nassau Paradise Island Promotion Board here in the UK. I also am your point of contact for anybody in UK and Europe. Um, for anybody in USA, if you need to ask any questions today, please, please feel free to put them in the question and answer session, or you can inbox me and I will put you in touch with your uh, um, correct contact point uh, in our Florida office. So, Let's start. Let me uh, share my screen. So bear with me. Um, Sarah, remind me, where did I have to click so that we could hear my video? Just before you press which page you want, it's at the bottom left hand corner. Uh, Stop right. sharing and go to the uh, right. Let's just do that one more time. Here we go. So, here we are. Let's take you to Nassau. Hello, neighbor. You look like you could use a break. So why don't you pop on over? Kick off your shoes and relax. Feel the sand between your toes and a sweet island breeze against your skin. Bring the kids if you like. We haven't seen each other in a while, and we have a lot of catching up to do. Nassau, Paradise Island, Bahamas, your island home, right next door. Hello. So, here we are. Let's um, tell you a little bit about Nassau, where it is, how to get there. Um, we are very close to Florida. So therefore you'll see the uh, indication on our map because we are in the Caribbean, um, we are in the Bahamas. So Bahamas is just not one island like some of the other Caribbean islands. It's an archipelago of islands. We are in New Providence and the capital is Nassau and this is where all our properties are. Um, how do you get from UK into Nassau? Uh, as of April, BA flies daily from Heathrow. We also have two flights a week uh, on Virgin going up to four times in winter. So plenty of um, airlift, about 11 flights a week, um, uh, um, you know, in winter. So uh, fantastic opportunities for you to take your clients across to Nassau, of course. And then there is the um, variety of transfer connecting flights. Uh, some of the two centers work really well. So if you've got clients and think about all the people we send from UK into USA, Florida, particularly, or anywhere in East Coast, uh, the Bahamas can be a really good extension. So two center in, in Nassau. Canada is a fantastic uh, two-center option as well. So think about taking people from here to Toronto um, City and then Niagara and then Cool Down or Beach in, in Nassau. So plenty of opportunities for you to um, either sell Nassau as a, as a, a destination in itself or a two-center with some of the other um, popular destinations out of UK and Europe. So I'm here to talk about our member properties. Our member properties are 18. So first up is, of course, as you arrive into um, Nassau, um, Cable Beach, which is one of the most stunning beaches in, uh, um, in Nassau, has got our properties, which is Sandals Royal Bohemian. You've got Bahamar, which is absolutely fantastic. It's a resort in itself. It's a luxury resort. And I've got Helena here on the webinar, who's going to talk to us about Rosewood Bahamar. Um, we've also got within uh, Bahamar, Grand Hyatt and SLS. Um, further down in Cable Beach is our Goldwyn Resort. It's a new property. It's absolutely stunning, and I'll cover that. 
further into downtown Nassau. So that is uh, 10 minutes from airport into Cable Beach and about 25 minutes taxi ride into downtown Nassau. You've got Margaritaville, which is a fun, a quirky brand. It's right uh, um, on the beach, a walking distance to um the cruise terminal, which is looking absolutely stunning. It's, uh, it's a new uh, refurbished, new uh, uh, actually build, and it's got retail outlets, it's got restaurants, so it's quite a, a fun place to be. It's also right in the heart of downtown Nassau, so you can easily access all the attractions. So the museums, you know, the straw market, um, foodie tours, and I'll cover some of that shortly. So first up, Sandals Royal, Bo Royal Bohemian Resort and Offshore Island. It has had a beautiful um, makeover. I was there um, about three weeks ago with a group of agents and we got an opportunity to look around, go across to the private, uh, uh, the offshore island, and it's looking absolutely stunning. It's a blend of European sophistication and of course it's um, luxury included with more swim up suites and water features. So this is um, for your couples. If anybody's looking for all inclusive option, then Sandals is, um, is uh, one for you to recommend. You can also to center it with Exuma, uh, to center within Sandals. So that's a good option to recommend to your honeymooners, your couples, people going away to special celebrations or in general, um, uh, adults. Um, just a quick, overview of what it looks like um but we do have on our website which is nasoparadiseisland.com you've got some stunning videos they're all downloadable so if you wanted to do your own social media promotions you can do that or please reach out to me and i'll happily send you the images and the videos for you to do your social media Next up is, uh, of course, Bahamar. You can see how beautiful it is. It's spread quite nicely. You've got a uh, Grand Hyatt, um, SLS Bahamar. You've got Rosewood, which I've already mentioned, Helena will cover. But some of the key features to remember within Bahamar is that it's got a water park. So it's fantastic for families, multi-generation travel, just, you know, um, couples getting away, um, group of friends getting away, boys get away because it's a fantastic golf course. It's a, um, a, a royal blue golf course. Um, it's a Jack Nicholas designed um, golf course. You also have amazing restaurants. You've got this concept of food cart on the beach, which is, um, you know, gives you an option of either uh, dining on the beach or going into one of the restaurants and dining there. Um, some of the things to remember around uh, uh, Bahamar, you've got the largest casino in the Caribbean. Um, and as you can see, it's uh, it's got the stunning view, um, natural daylight. One of the quirky things here is uh, uh, yoga with flamingos, and they've got a resident flock. They do you know, march around the, the resort so you can go in, um, interact with them. And then, of course, I've already mentioned the uh, golf course. Helena will cover uh, a bit more on the general facilities. Moving on into downtown Nassau. Uh, some of the uh, top things to do is, of course, going into the Greycliff, which is also a member hotel. Greycliff is a small hotel, but it's uh, got a big personality. It's got, got Bahama barrels, which, you know, you can do uh, an afternoon session of mixing your own wine and, and bottling it. It also goes into a catalog. So some sometime, uh, you know, years later, if you want to order, um, uh, you know, that blend, then you can do so. Uh, they have a chocolate factory on an artisan chocolate factory they've also got cigar factory and of course it's most famous for its um uh, largest collection private collection of, of wine and you can dine uh there so think about people looking for perhaps something exclusive uh then this is this is where you would take them other than that, what is there in downtown Nassau? Nassau is the pirate's capital. So of course there's a pirate museum. It's very historic. There are cultural centers. You can go in, for example, um, create a Junkanoo costume at the Junkanoo Education or Edu um, uh, Cultural Center. 
You've got John Watlin's Distillery, which offers complimentary tours. So again, thinking about perhaps your cruise passengers arriving, um, you know, these are some of the things for you to recommend to your clients. Moving across into Paradise Island, we've got Nina here from Atlantis, and she's going to talk to us about or tell us a little bit more about the Cove. And she's also going to cover the reef and their two very different concept hotels. So, um, uh, you know, we'll look forward to hearing from from Nina later on. And then also we've got um, Sunibel from uh, the Four Seasons, uh, the Ocean Club. So, of course, she'll tell us a lot more about those two hotels. But just to cover up our uh, member hotels, we've got, of course, um, Atlantis. We've got uh, Comfort Suites, we've got Sunrise Beach Club, um, and we've got, of course, Paradise Island, sorry, Bayview Suites um, and Paradise Island Beach Club. It's so just a quick snapshot of um, the hotels in Atlantis. Uh, of course, you've got um, uh, Equaventure, so great for families, again, multi-generational, uh, you know, uh, families, as well as uh, couples traveling, group of friends. Uh, it's literally a, a fantastic resort in itself. Um, the marina has got always a great vibe. They do um, junk, junk canoe parade once or twice a week. So it's quite a nice, uh, um, all-inclusive uh, in terms of experience uh, to stay in Paradise Island and experience the, the, the hustle and bustle of, of uh, the marina. And of course, you can do um, dolphin encounters and variety of uh, other uh, um, activities here. Just to sum up, you've got 21 restaurants, uh, you've got about 19 bars, you've got, of course, the dig, um, you can buy day passes, and um, Nina can tell us a little bit more about it, and if you're staying at Comfort, if clients are staying at Comfort Suite or the Ocean Club, they will have access to um, some of the facilities here, including Equaventure, uh, the dig, and the pools. So with that, I'd just like to leave you with this little video and then I'll sum up what we're doing to help you, um, you know, us as a destination, uh, promote and create excitement around Nassau. So it's great for uh, all types of customers. Why should you recommend our hotels? We're giving away, of course, 20 pounds rewards for every booking that you make, as long as you log it on um, a Nassau um, uh, rewards program. Uh, we've got um, advertising campaigns uh, in market with people like Women and Home, uh, The Week, Mary Claire, Decanter. We also do advertising with Mail Metro Media um, and some of the um, uh, big titles. So we're constantly uh, promoting, educating the public on why people should visit um, Nassau. And uh, of course, you know, we work very closely with B2B partners like Gold Medal, uh, Jet Set, so you can easily access uh, um, package prizes. But again, I'll leave you with this and I'll hand over to uh, Helena to tell us a little bit more about Rosewood. Uh, um, and at the end, I'll share my email address so that we or actually Sarah will send all our email addresses to you so that you can ask us any questions um, after the webinar. So with that, I hand you over to um, Helena. Hello, everyone. Um, it's a pleasure to be with you this afternoon. I'm going to be sharing my screen. Let me know if you can see um, some beautiful islands uh, from the Bahamas. Is that a yes? Yeah. <laughs> uh, fantastic. So I want to tell you a little bit about Rosewood Bahamar and what this beautiful resort has got to offer um, your clients, hopefully to inspire you to also come and see for yourself if you haven't been already. Um, the, the resort is um, within the Bahamar development and I will share a little bit more um, details of 
we can offer um, at the Baltimore. Um, I also wanted to, to share my contact details so you can scan um, this QR code and you will have uh, my emails and phone number. And I can see that some of you are in Dallas and in the US. And if you don't know who is your contact within Rosewood, please do send me an email and I'll be delighted to connect you with your global director of sales um, in your area. Um, so yes, a little bit of, um, I suppose, what, what makes Rosewood unique and what's different? I think one of the things is that Rosewood as a brand started off as a private um, mansion in Dallas. That was the very first hotel with the collection. And it became a blueprint for the rest of the hotels. Um, and we're really showcasing that residential feel um, and very much the one of a kind um, ambience, showcasing the sense of place, which is another thing which is really special for Rosewood. Um, and with sense of place, we mean that we are really reflecting the spirit of the destination. So we are woven in the history and the heritage um, of the destination into the fabric of the hotel. The gastronomy that we offer. Helena, yeah, Helena. Sorry, can I interrupt you a moment? Can you speak into the speaker because your your sound is it's it's in and out, so we we're not hearing every word. Okay. Um. Can you hear me now? Or okay, that's it. So yeah, let me know if you can't hear me. Um. I, yeah. I'm... Yeah. Just keep as close to the speaker as you can. Sure. Um. So yeah, so talking about the sense of place is all about really um, focusing what's unique about the destination. And we do that through the gastronomy that we offer and the experiences that we create and the art and the design of our hotel. Um, so as I mentioned, the Rosewood Bahamar is part of the Bahamar development. So you have the Grand Hyatt and the SLS, as well as the beautiful Aqua Park. Um, and we are the smallest um, of the three hotels. We only have 230 um, rooms and suites and villas in total. We have a completely separate entrance as well. Um, and it's a little bit like an exclusive enclave where you can, uh, you know, indulge and enjoy all of the other facilities. But all, if you wanted to have seclusion, you can just stay within the Rosewood Hotel. Um, we are on Cable Beach, so it's super convenient. Uh, we have launches actually at the airport. So um, welcome straight by our team and then it's a very short 15 minutes taxi ride um, to uh, Cable Beach where the Rosewood Bahamar is located. When you come in, you will see the sense of place that I am speaking, what I was speaking about. We're showcasing the photos of the 50s in Bahamas that have been painted as wallpapers towards the walls in the lobby. So very intimate, welcoming, getting you straight into the destination of Bahamas. And there are lots of beautiful destination books and, and art pieces as well from Bahamas displayed throughout the hotel. As I mentioned, we have 230 rooms in total, so it's not a very big hotel, uh, but we have beautiful rooms with balconies overlooking the gardens and the ocean, as well as suites. Um, we have um, one of our suites that have a swimming pool on the rooftop. So that's highly recommended. And then we have villas as well. So we have three and six bedroom villas. Um, so I just wanted to share with you, this is our three bedroom villa. So it's got a beautiful plunge pool. Uh, and there is really nothing like that in the uh, Bahamas. So it's 288 square meter. And these villas are overlooking, they're next to the ocean, overlooking our port. And then the creme de la creme is our six bedroom villa, which is literally um, on the beach itself, um, a beautiful uh, product and fantastic if you've got families that want to get together, a little bit more of an intimate space and other options. And of course, this villa comes with, with butler service and so that's the suite. In terms of gastronomy, um, being part of the Bahamar development, we have access to, I think it's it's over 30 different restaurants um, within the development now, so it's amazing. But within um, the resort itself, we have Costa, which is the picture that you're looking at now. So Costa is a Mexican seafood restaurant, um, and it sits on a pond, so it's got a beautiful setting. Um, then we also have a Café Balou, which is by Daniel Balou, so French brasserie restaurant, and then Kingdom on the Sand, which is kind of a beach, um, you know, eating... Uh, 
healthy foods and, and barbecue is your toast in the south. Um, and we have two beautiful baths as well. Um, but I wanted to mention that with the restaurants, actually, we have um, end of October, we are working with the Art um, and Culinary Festival in Bahamas. So this is an amazing time to go to the Bahamas. And all of the chefs that have restaurants at, within the development, they will um, come to the island and they will host different dinners and events. There is also an art piece to this uh, culinary an art festival uh, where we're bringing in artists from all over the Caribbean to showcase their art. Um, but I like specifically what I was going to come to is that Daniel Belou, he's there himself and he hosts a truffle dinner. Um, so he will be shaving himself the truffle on your plate uh, if you did want to, to join. So it's a really fabulous weekend and very unique uh, and different. Um, the bars, so we got the manor bars, so uh, really the, speaking us a bit about, um, you know, the twin seas in terms of style, they do a fantastic old fashioned if you are into whiskey um, cocktails. And then the library is where you can enjoy afternoon tea and champagne and relax. And then this is just a picture of Kingdom on the Sand. Um, and as I mentioned, then we have access to all of these fantastic restaurants. So you've got like Marcus um, Samuelson, which got his chef, uh, which, which got his restaurant right on the beach, which is part of the Grand Hyatt. Um, we've got SLS restaurants, and then we did the casino. So it's a cashless environment. It's amazing. You've got all of these fantastic restaurants right at your doorstep. Within Rosewood, uh, we are very keen to look after our younger um, guests as well. So we have the Rosewood Explorers Club, which is really suitable for children from four years and up. So it's complimentary and we do lots of activities, both indoor and outdoors. Um, and if you provide the age of the, the, uh, the child and the name, we can do some, you know, uh, we do a wrap up to their name song and special kind of names to welcome them. Um, you can really tailor make it um, to, to ensure that the whole family is as happy as possible. And, and then we've got a range of different um, activities. We've got like an 18 hole golf course, um, which is fantastic. We've got tennis. And then Sangeeta mentioned the yoga with the flamingos. So this is a really fun experience. I don't know if anyone had the chance to try it, but these birds are incredibly serene and you're not allowed to touch them because they're obviously, you know, it's wildlife, but um, they will touch you. So they might stroke their peak against you while you're doing yoga as, um, to show affection. affection. So it's a really fun activity and, and very unique and different. It's probably one of my favorite activities, actually. Um, and then, so within the Bahamar development, there are lots of different swimming pools, but for the Rosewood guests, we have two exclusive swimming pools just for our guests, but then you do have access to the swimming pools within Grand Hyatt and SLS as well. So you get the both the best of both worlds. And then of course, the aqua uh, park. So this is really fun for all ages and it's complimentary for all of the guests at Baham in uh, Bahamar. So this is brilliant. And then there are also animal sanctuaries, um, which is great fun for the whole family. Um, and um, and just to kind of uh, finish off, I wanted to just talk to you a little bit about some of the initiatives that we have at the resort. So really working to um, you know be as sustainable as possible. We are funding, uh, working together with Reef um, to look after our coral reef. And there is excursions as well that the guests can enjoy. Uh, where the funding of the expression goes completely to, um, you know, transforming the living wage, and, and you will be able to snorkel or dive and see some of the And then also we've got John Fox. So John Fox is our place master at the Rose of Bahamar. And um, what we do is that we work with local tailors uh, in the sense of local um, people that work with artists or free divers or uh, chefs, but they have a big voice within their community. So in Bahamas, we show John Cox, who's our art director, um, and he's actually responsible for all of the art at the Bahamar development. And you can do art tours with him, you can do painting classes with him, and we also done this destination guide, so you can see, you know, I get to see the places that he recommends, so you get to know Bahamas through his lens. Um, and then, of course, you've got some of the most beautiful beaches in Cable Beach. Um, and if that was not enough, we also have access to a private island. So it's just about an eight minutes 
um, boat ride from our pier and you can take long key for the day and we can set you up with barbecue and um, just a wonderful day if you would like a group of friends or a big family to enjoy this, this beautiful place where they have natural rock pools. So that is really all for me. I want to say thank you so much um, for listening and I hope to welcome you to the Bahamas. Sangeeta? Hi. Hello. It's, um, she's finished with... Um, yeah, so we move on to uh, Nina, please. And I think Nina is trying to share her presentation now. I did. Is it showing? It is, yes. Oh, thank God. Okay, can you hear me too? Yes, we can. Yes. Thanks, Helena, for your presentation. Okay. And Nina, awesome. over to you. Okay, um, sorry that my camera's not working, but at least the uh, everything else is working. So um, I just wanna tell you a little bit about the Cove and the Reef. We have four hotels at the resort, um, but today we're gonna concentrate on our two luxury properties, the Cove and the Reef. Um, and here's all four of them. I think you already saw the slide. So we have the Cove and the Reef. So the Cove is really considered to be an adult only, um, I'm sorry, an adult oriented resort. It's not adult only. A lot of people think that it would be adult only, and we really thought that when we first built it, but more people want to come with their families and their nannies and all of that. So they stay at the cove, but their kids are over at Atlantis doing all the fun things, aquaventure and the water slides and all of the other things that we have at Atlantis. But it is um, adult oriented. We have um, at the cove, we have an adult only pool. So this pool is for guests that are it's exclusive to guests staying at the Cove, and it is for those guests 18 and older. So in the entire world of Atlantis, this is the only kid-free zone, and you have to be staying at the Cove. There is a pool called Cascades, which is shared by Cove and Reef guests, that they have access to, that is for families, and everybody can access that pool that is staying at the Cove and the Reef, because even though they have access to everything in Atlantis, we don't want them to have to go over to Atlantis to take a swim. So we have that available. Cove and Reef guests have full access to everything at Atlantis, which I'm gonna tell you a little bit about that um, after I go through the two hotels. But um, Atlantis guests can come over to the Cove, to the restaurants and things, but they don't have access to the pool areas because the Cove and the Reef guests are paying a premium to stay there. So we wanna have a little bit of exclusivity for them. So at the Cove, we have um, our standard suites, which I will tell you about in a minute, but we also have our club level, which is called Lapis. And that is on the top level of the floor. So anyone staying in the club accommodations or any of what we call our super suites, the Azores and Sapphires, have access to this club lounge where they can come anytime during the day. And we have different presentations. We have breakfast, afternoon snacks, evening cocktails and desserts. Um, throughout the day. So it's a really nice addition to people that are staying at the hotel in that particular category. So this is an ocean suite. So basically we have the um, lead-in category is the ocean suite. We have the ocean suite and the du deluxe ocean suite. They are exactly the same. The only difference between the two is the location. The ocean view uh, suites are on the lower floors and the deluxe ocean view are on the higher floors. And then we have um, the next step up is our Azure suite. Then we have Sapphire suite. And then of course we have also um, presidential suites as well and a penthouse suite. Now the Reef is also a luxury property but it is more family oriented. Um, it is great for multi-generational families. The grandparents come down, they take the whole family, they wanna stay at the Reef. They have, uh, we have studios that have the um, kitchenettes. You can see it there to the left of the bed. Um, there's a king, there's kings and double queens in both of these resorts. And then we have the one and two bedroom suites that have a living area and a separate bedroom. We also have 
what we call the topaz suite and that is at the end it is basically a one um and it can be a two bedroom suite at the end of the corridor and um we re the reason we re um, re recategorize those is because of the view it's spectacular when you wake up in the morning you see the beautiful ocean uh, you see the ocean from all of the rooms there but this is just a really really spectacular view and it's a little bit larger than the traditional one and two bedroom suites and then of course we have a penthouse so now i just want to tell you a little bit about atlantis because um you know as i mentioned the guests staying at the cove and the reef have access to everything at atlantis so um the thing that's great about atlantis is we are we offer experiences that you really can't get anywhere else. We have an underwater city, which is called the Dig, and this is a picture of it. It is the different, um, excuse me, sea animals that are protecting the artifacts of Atlantis, and you can walk through the Dig area. We also have um, our AquaVenture water park, which consists of the bottom section of the slide is a Mayan temple, which has our iconic leap of faith. And then we have the power tower, which has different water slides. And again, just to give you a little bit of perspective on this, um, all of these things are included in the price of the room. And as it was mentioned earlier, we do sell day passes on a limited basis for anywhere up to $200. So if you want to put a value on the experience, um, no matter where you're staying in Atlantis, for everyone in your room, for your entire stay, you have access to all of this. So it's a really, really great value. To the experience. Of course, we have the beautiful beaches and we have um, our, our Atlantis Kids Adventure for younger kids. And then we have our, our Crush Teen Club for ages 13 to 17. The teen, you know, teenagers, um, teenagers at any resort are a little bit difficult sometimes because they are too old to go to a camp and um, they can't go into the casino. The drinking and the gaming age in the Bahamas is 18. And so at 18, they can go into there. But between 13 and 17, we have this Crush Teen Club, which is great for them in the evening to be able to um, enjoy the different games and dancing and all the things that are available to them. And then in, we also have, for the adults, we have our Mandara Spa. We have the Ocean Club Golf Course, which Sunabelle is going to tell you a little bit about the Ocean Club in a few minutes. And we have the Fitness Center and, of course, our wonderful casino which is currently being um, renovated. And um, one of the things that we have that's really great is our Marina Village, and it's located across from the Coral at Atlantis. And it's bars and shops and restaurants, and the main restaurants you can sign back to your room. So a lot of people want to come to the Bahamas, but they don't want to just be in the hotel. They want to experience what the Bahamas has to offer. And we have that over at Marina Village. We have a lot of different Bahamian aspects, um, the Junkanoo Festival, a conch um, shack thing um, that you can get your conch salad at. So you really feel like you're in the Bahamas, which you are. We have a lot of nightlife and we have wonderful restaurants at the hotel. We have a Nobu restaurant and the casino and Fish by Andres. And we also have a lot of casual and buffet dining. I want to tell you a little bit about what's happening right now. We have opened this restaurant called Pita, which is out by uh, the pool area. Fresca at the Cove has just reopened. And last week, a couple of weeks ago, we opened Peranza at the Cove. So those of you who are familiar with the Cove, we have the uh, we have Mosaic Restaurant. So that restaurant is a very large restaurant. So it's being transformed. Right now, the Mosaic portion is under uh, renovation and it's going to reopen soon. But Peranza just opened. A couple of weeks ago, it's a Michelin starred chef and it's a fabulous restaurant. It's a great addition to the Cove. And again, Atlantis guests can come over there and dine as well, but it is located at the Cove. We have the Dilly Club, which is um, coffee during the day and a cocktail bar at night over in Marina Village. And then I mentioned that the casino was being renovated along with some of the bars um, at the casino as well. And um, the other thing that I do want to mention is that we do have shuttle transportation. Atlantis is a very large resort, but we do have shuttle transportation that goes back and forth between the different towers. And what's really great is that we have dedicated shuttles that go from Cove and Reef right to the Royal Towers because the people that are 
paying there, staying there, or paying a premium, and we don't want them to have to wait a long time for the shuttle. So we do have shuttle transportation for them. So that's um, everything about the COVID and the reef in Atlantis in a very short time. And I will be available after the Ocean Club presentation for any questions that you may have. And we have our um, email address that's on the bottom there um, that you can send any questions that you may have to and we'll direct them to the right person. Erica Valbuena is your main point of contact and um, she was jetting off to somewhere today. So I am doing this for her and uh, but you can send it and they will make sure that the right person gets um, your email. Thank you very much for your time and I'll be back in a few minutes to answer any questions you might have. Thank you so much Nina um, and now so we go over to Sunny Bell. Hello everyone, I'm Suni Bell Sanchez and I represent the Ocean Club of Four Seasons Resort in the Bahamas. Let me just go ahead and share my screen. Can everyone see my screen okay? Yeah, good, perfect. So again, my name is Suni Bell. Uh, I've been with the Ocean Club now for, it's gonna be nine years that I've been with, with this beautiful property. Um, the resort itself, it's a very historic property. If you're not familiar with the Ocean Club, uh, the Ocean Club has been in the destination for 60 years. We just celebrated our 60th anniversary last year, um, and we uh, are a member or part of the Four Seasons brand as of six years this year is when we transitioned uh, into Four Seasons. Um, so of Everything that you can imagine is available for you in the Bahamas as far as different styles of hotels, different size hotels, uh, different experiences. So, uh, of course, nonetheless, we offer a different one as well. So in our property, we're, um, we sit on Paradise Island, just down the beach from the Atlantis Resort. And two of the top things that I always like to highlight uh, about our resort in, in our destination specifically is um, the style of resort that we are is very different. And also uh, where we are on Paradise Island, it really gives us a great opportunity of offering uh, of an intimate experience on the beach. Uh, there are no private beaches in the Bahamas, uh, but simply due to our location, it does feel that way uh, because uh, the only guests that are generally around us are guests of the Ocean Club. The other great benefit about the Ocean Club, as was mentioned earlier, is that we do also have access to Atlantis and the water park, their marine habitats, um, the restaurants. We also do have charging privileges. So if any one of our guests uh, decide that they want to enjoy all of those uh, restaurants that uh, Nina was talking about, they do have access to the restaurants as well and they can charge it right back to their room. So we have a really great relationship with Atlantis, uh, fortunately. So it gives our guests a little bit uh, of an opportunity to experience both um, the Atlantis and the Ocean Club. Um, let's see what else. Go to the next. And to get to the Ocean Club uh, or to the Atlantis from the Ocean Club, we do have a house car that will take our guests to and from. Uh, it's available on a first come, first serve basis. Um, and it does run uh, throughout the entire day and into the evening. It can take them for, to the, the Royal Tower, to the Cove. Uh, just five minutes to the Marina Village or eight minutes to the Cove as well if they want to have dinner uh, at the restaurant there. Uh, so from this image here, you can get to see the style of resort that we are. As you can see, it's a very different, uh, very traditional architecture to the Bahamas. It's just a two-story property. There are no high rises um, or elevators in, in the property. Uh, what you're seeing here is just a portion of, of the resort. We sit on 36 acres, so it's a very large property, but with only 107 rooms total. And this ranges from uh, lead-in category, which are the garden view rooms, all the way up to a four-bedroom villa residence that sits right on the beach. So what you're seeing here is the entrance to the beach. Uh, as you can see, the experience on the beach is very intimate. We do have Dune Restaurant right there, which is the uh, Jean-Georges Restaurant, your fine dining outlet where you can have breakfast, lunch, and dinner. We do have another smaller restaurant on the other side of the pool that serves lunch and sometimes dinner, depending on our occupancy. Um, the main reception area, the original wing, the Hartford wing right there in the center. And we have a few more areas of the resort that aren't featured here in this particular image. Uh, one of the great uh, features about Four Seasons as a whole as a brand is our Four Seasons chat app. 
Um, so if you've ever been to a Four Seasons, you, um, you should have the Four Seasons app on your phone and you can order anything from room service to um, a cocktail to your room. Um, just any question you might have, anything that you need, we have someone available 24 seven to answer any questions um, where you don't even have to pick up a phone or stop by the front desk uh, to do anything. Reservations to restaurants, um, a concierge can put together an itinerary for you over the chat app. So it's a very useful tool that was developed right before 2020. So it was very convenient uh, during that time, but it is of course still available and, and even better than before. We have two different wings at the resort that offer two different kinds of accommodations um, and experiences for our guests. The Hartford Wing, which was the original wing uh, that was built in the 1960s, was fully renovated at the end of 2015 into 2016. Um, here's where we would have the garden view room, and then we have ocean view, and then one and two bedroom suites. This wing is at the center of the resort, so it's closest to the restaurant, to the reception, to the spa, the kids program, access to the beach and to the pool. So it's very centrally located and it's typically very popular with families. We do have a queen size sleeper sofa in every room, so that gives the option of accommodating families of four, two adults and two kids in the standard room. And then on the other side of the resort, we have the Crescent Wing. Uh, the Crescent Wing um, has been there since the late 1990s or so, um, and it was just fully renovated right before festive. So literally just this past December was fully renovated. Uh, here, the, the experience is a little different, not only obviously because of the style of the room is very different. The rooms are larger by about 100 square feet, um, a little bit more private and more intimate because they don't have anything in front of it other than the lawns and, and the lawn and the beach chairs and hammocks throughout. So it's very quiet and intimate location. Um, it is family friendly. So families are welcome here as well. And we do have queen size sleeper sofas also. So we can accommodate families of four also. All of the rooms in this wing are ocean facing. So they all have the ocean views and we have rooms and one and two bedroom suites as well. We also do have uh, bungalows, the two bedroom, two bath uh, bungalows that were renovated at the end of 2019 into 2020. These are perfect for families. Uh, we have a master suite that's king bedded. We have a second bedroom with two queen beds and a sleeper sofa in the living room if they wanna make use of that space as well. We only have the two of them and they do have their own private plunge pool and they sit within the gardens of the property. So they do not have an ocean view but they are very intimate and they are closest to our children's program as well. So that's one of the reasons why it's very popular with the families. Our largest accommodations are the villa residences. So we have three of these at the resort, beachfront residence, either three bedroom or four bedroom. They each have their own private access to the beach, their uh, own infinity edge pool, fully dedicated housekeeping team, butler team, and a chef are included with each one of these villas. Um, they have a series of amenities that are included, including transportation. Uh, we do have um, cocktails and canapes that are created by the chef every evening. Breakfast is served a la carte every morning that's included. Uh, the chef's services are included throughout the entire stay for the families that stay here. The only thing that they would pay for is whatever they consume, uh, whatever it is that they would like the chef to prepare. Um, and the chef preparations can be done right there on their beautiful beach deck, or we can ex create an experience right in front of the villa with a, a private barbecue or an intimate dinner, a romantic dinner, um, anything from a simple dinner on the beach to a, a, a full on celebration with a Junkanoo band. So any experience that the guest is looking to, to have, we can certainly put together and even weddings. We've had weddings um, in the villas. Um, it's ceremonies right on the, the pool because we can cover the pool um, right on the beach. So any experience that your guests can imagine, we can, uh, we can facilitate. As I mentioned, we have three villas. We have uh, two three bedrooms, which are the ones at the corners. And then the one in the center is the four bedroom villa, which if we have any James Bond fans on this call, which I assume that we might, um, the resort was featured in the movie Casino Royale um, in 2006. And this villa right there in the center of the four bedroom villa is one of the ones that was featured in the film as, as well. So we get a lot of James Bond fans that want to recreate and know all about the movie here. 
The villas were also renovated at the end of 2019 into 2020. As far as activities at the resort, we're very much a destination resort. Many of the guests that stay with us are coming for the purpose of just rest and relaxation to disconnect. The resort is very private, very intimate, uh, very quiet. So if they're looking for an experience just to disconnect and, and, and aren't looking necessarily for, for a hustle and bustle kind of environment, then we're certainly um, a, an option for that. Um, the great thing about the property, of course, is that if they do want to go to the nightclub or go to the casino or experience any other restaurants, uh, the Atlantis, of course, is right next door uh, and our house car, house car can take them to and from for those experiences. And when they're ready to, to return, um, they can just come right back. Um, we have, of course, our, our kids program right uh, on site. We have our spa, our fitness center. We have tennis. We have access to the golf course, the Ocean Club golf course as well. Um, and but we're definitely just a place to to rest and relax. And I missed one slide that's not in here, but anything other than um, uh, we know we, we covered a little bit about the destination as a whole as far as activities off property. So even though many of our guests like to uh, choose to stay right there and, and just relax at the resort, well, our concierge team can put together any sort of experience that they're looking to do. Um, anything from the, the tours in, in the city, going to downtown Nassau and doing duty-free shopping, to yacht charters for the day, um, doing a, a trip to the Exumas to see the swimming pigs, whatever experience that they're looking to do off property, and regardless of the level of activity or, or what uh, it is that they're looking for, our team can put together uh, an itinerary, bespoke itinerary based on what the client's uh, needs are and what they're looking to do. Uh, but that is it. That is the Ocean Club. And nice and, and simple. Thank you so much, everyone, for your time. Thank you, Sunibel. Um, I thank you, everybody, for uh, your great presentations. So it's um, over to you, Sarah, now so we can do the question and answers. Um, super. We've got a couple in here. We've got um, Shanice asked, when is the best time of year to visit the Bahamas? It's year round, um, you know, you, you do have the rainy season um, in line with the Caribbean. So it, September, October, but it's literally it's year round because there's so many things you can do indoors. And in the Caribbean, if you've been to the Caribbean, it's short, sharp shower and then you just move on and do things. I've been there in September and, and literally, you know, if it rain for the afternoon we just did things indoors like there's so much to do excellent um i've got another question about if somebody's going um across to the bahamas and they want to see any of the resorts do any of them offer like a day pass or any any form of um tour around the hotel so um uh, i'll let uh, Nina answer for she's already mentioned that but Bahamar certainly do a day pass uh, Margarita will also will do day pass um, and uh, of course Atlantis does uh, Nina just mentioned it uh, but if it's an agent it's a tour operator reservation staff please reach out to one of us if you're going um, if it's not super super busy period uh, sometimes we can um, you know the hotels can extend complimentary uh, day passes but you know it's it's it can't be guaranteed but yes you can you can uh, buy passes day passes for okay, the ocean so club we um, we don't sell day passes um, because of the the size of our resort we, we don't allow outside guests to come and enjoy the facilities uh, for our um, travel advisors of course all we need to know is you know when you're coming um, and then we can try to coordinate, um, do a site inspection, and then you can enjoy the facilities because, of course, we do uh, love for our advisors to come and actually experience the property, even if it's just for a few hours or for a day so they can see what we're all about. Yeah, no, it's important for sure. So that's super. We don't seem to have any other questions. Everybody is a Nassau Paradise Island expert. So that's yeah. good. You've been doing a good job, Sangeeta and team. <laughs> <laughs> Fantastic. I think somebody has put, um, Cecilia has said she's won a few nights in the Ocean Club, um, but could not make it uh, and, and due to limited flights from Canada. So Cecilia, what is it? Are you planning to visit NASA soon or, you know, 
was that just as an FYI, we'd love for you to go and visit uh, the Bahamas at some point. So if you do decide to go, just reach out to us and we'll definitely um, see how we can help you uh, experience uh, Nassau and some of our member properties. Um, Sarah will do um, a follow up with all our email addresses. So if you do think of any other questions, um, if you ever need any recommendations or if you um, need us to help you, uh, you know, plan something then for your clients or for yourselves then just I am your point of contact so just reach out super and uh, Sangeeta do you have a question uh do I have a question yes I do yeah, okay just before you it's, do just yes. before you do just before everyone go to chat so just as a reminder every single person gets entered into the prize draw if you are the first person with the correct answer as determined by Sangeeta, not me, I have nothing to do with it, um, then you'll get 10 entries. I'll then put everybody's name into a spin to win and I'll let you know tomorrow when I do the follow-up um, with everybody's email addresses in. So Sangeeta, now you can right. go. <laughs> Everybody ready? Um, thanks for listening very carefully. So how many flights do we have out of UK into Nassau? Neil was very quick. <laughs> okay. So we've got a few different answers here. We've got daily being the first answer. It's 11 flights. So Neil 11. Miller so Neil. gets 10 entries, 10 extra entries. Yeah, 10 entries. Brilliant. Excellent. Super. Thank you very much. Well done, Neil, and lots of other correct answers as well. So no excuses not to be sending your clients across to the amazing Bahamas. I have been and Nassau is phenomenal. And uh, Sunny Bell, I loved your hotel. I love Nina yours as well. Um, so beautiful, beautiful places. So thank just, you, ladies. Just one last thing. Sorry, before everybody goes. Every year we go through... Um, our NASA rewards program and find our top sellers so that you know we can take them to NASA. We've just uh, come back with uh, uh, nine travel agents, travel advisors. So please don't forget to log your bookings. Please don't forget to recommend our member hotels to your clients. Um, you know we're here to help, and and we'd love for your clients to come and visit our properties. So with that. Thank you. Thank you very much, everyone. Thanks, presenters. Thank you, Sunibel. Thank you, Nina, for joining us. And thank Sarah, you. thank you so much for uh, putting this uh, um, uh, together. No problem at all. Thank, thank you everyone. very much. Thanks, everyone. Day. Bye. Bye.